Good morning, guys. Larry the Tractor Guy. Hey, it's going to be a beautiful morning this morning. It's uh, about 65 degrees out. Uh, we've got a call run out and look at a 9520 tractor with some DPF emissions codes. Um, I think it's going to be to do with his diesel exhaust fluid. And so we're going to go out and take a look at that and see what we can figure out. We're out here on the 9520R with the uh, DPF codes, diesel particulate filter codes. We have a code of a ECU 3251.04, which is saying that we have a differential pressure that is much lower than is even possible on the DPF. Um, so I've got a live connection made here uh, with Service Advisor, but I took a uh, cover off over here on the right-hand side of the tractor where the exhaust filter is located. And I want to show you where this pressure sensor is at here. So here is our DPF exhaust filter here in this area. And this is our differential pressure sensor. And if you can see, it's got hard pipes that are plumbed in the bottom of this sensor that go over on both sides of the DPF and look at that differential pressure. It's got a hard pipe coming in here, hard pipe coming in here, and this would be the sensor um, that is setting the code. One thing that I've seen before is I have seen that the little spout on the sensor here is plastic that the hose is connected to. I've seen those break off, okay? And so that'll, that'll set that code as well. Um, but what we have today is either we have a failed sensor um, or we've lost our five volt power supply or we're not getting a signal back to the ECU. Okay, and so there's several steps involved in that. Uh, probably, I think there's about 20, 12 steps um, to diagnose this problem. So real quick, what I like to do is just go ahead and get my voltmeter, unplug the connector here, make sure that I have a five volt power supply. Okay, so stay tuned. We're gonna do that real quick. I've got this sensor unplugged here. And as you can see, I'm connected to the power and the ground. Okay, would be the A and the C or the one and three pins in the connector here. And it looks like I've got 4.96 volts. So right at five volts, basically. Um, so that's pretty well verifying that our voltage and ground is good um, from the, the ECU to the differential pressure sensor, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and check our return back to the ECU, and we'll monitor that in Service Advisor, and I'll show you that real quick um, when I get this jumped across here, so stay tuned. I've got the connector end here, and you can see my handy little jumper wire. Um, you can't do this on everything, but on this five volt, volt circuit in particular here on this differential pressure sensor, you can. You, you typically would use a test box. Um, I don't have my test box with me today. So we're gonna use this little jumper wire. And I've jumped one to two, or no, one to three, I'm sorry, in the connector. And we'll go up and look at that in Service Advisor. We're monitoring that in Service Advisor. It's given us a new fault code of a ECU 3251.03 instead of the 04. The 04 was low voltage, the 03 is high voltage. Reason being is because it typically doesn't want to see a five volts, okay? Um, that would be a high pressure, okay? Um, low pressure would be anything below 0 0.2, okay? So we're looking at service advisor here. I don't know if you can see that, but we're monitoring that through service advisor and we jumped that across so we do have five volts there, okay? So it has completed that circuit back to the engine controller. And so just remember a real quick test you can do on that particular circuit is go ahead and jump that across. Make sure that you have a good five volt back to the ECU, okay, from your wiring on your, on your sensor. So what I believe we have is a failed um, DPF delta pressure sensor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and replace that sensor. 
And also when we were monitoring that with the original sensor plugged in, it was reading 0.7, which was putting us within range, okay? But uh, if we have an intermittent problem with that, with that sensor, that could go to 0.2, which would set that ECU 3251.04 code. Um, talking about the differential pressure being lower than uh, physically possible. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and change that sensor out, uh, run the tractor a little bit, verify that we fixed the problem. A real quick uh, tech tip for you here is when you're replacing the DPF Delta differential pressure sensor here and you connect your hoses and bolt that back up to the side panel make sure that you sort of bend these tubes over toward the side panel okay and that you're not actually drawing the bolts up and putting pressure on that that sensor uh, against the piping here that is connected to the sensor because like i said earlier these little uh, plastic spouts here okay they will break off and that's usually the reason why they get broke is because um the steel pipe here is not bent in the right direction okay so you're pulling pressure constant pressure on these little pipes here and they're just plastic so they will break okay so just a quick tech tip of the day to help you out we're gonna go fly a little bit uh make sure that we got this uh ecu code with the uh differential pressure sensor resolved okay so we're gonna go run the tractor a little bit we've been plowing here with the 9520R for about 30 minutes and everything seems to be normal. Seems like the, uh, looks like the ECU 3251.04 differential pressure code for the DPF um, is resolved. Um, it's doing a good job. Everything seems to be running fine. We're plowing here about seven mile an hour and everything seems to be normal. We're gonna go ahead and turn the 9520R back over to the customer. Um, just a quick recap on the situation. So customer called in and basically said that he had diesel exhaust fluid codes, which he did not have. He had an ECU 3251.04 that talked about um, DPF differential pressure. Um, turns out that the DPF differential pressure sensor was bad. So we went ahead and replaced that sensor, ran the tractor in the field, everything returned back to normal. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and let him go to plow on here and finish this field up. We're getting ready to uh, plant wheat here pretty soon. and got some more videos coming, so appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of the page here and a phone number if you guys need parts. Look us up. Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already, already burning me out. We're setting in the sun over here, man.